I'm in a bit of a pickle. I got done with my normal job and decided to do what I always do, come out here and have some fun. When I left the house this morning, I did notice my truck started just a little bit slow. It didn't crank quite as fast as it normally did. I really didn't think anything of it at the time. When I got close to being out here, it wasn't really running right. I've been in other vehicles when the alternator went out and it was acting kind of like that. I started getting to worrying a little bit and as I got to this spot, I decided to test it. So I pulled off over there where there's this nice good downward slope and while I was up there I just stopped and shut the engine off to do a test I uh, put it in gear pushed the clutch and let it roll and tried to pop the clutch to see if it would start and wouldn't start so I think my alternator is bad and the battery has drained because when I go to crank it with the key, this happens. And, and yes, that's the actual mileage I have on this thing. So I'm, I'm gonna give myself a few minutes to calm my frustration and uh, get some tools out and try to figure this out. See what we got. That's not good. 11.13 volts. Let me see. Let's just check some fuses in case. They're all checking out just fine. Terminals are clean and tight. Well, that's probably my problem. What to do, what to do. So I'm 98% sure the alternator's gone out. And without electricity, car won't run. Now I could do what most people would have to do and call a tow truck because made sure to pull over somewhere where I did at least have two bars of signal on my phone. But I really can't afford that. And so I think I've figured out something else. I've got a solar system in the back of this truck. Which it looks like a cat has walked on. Now I know what some of you are thinking. You just happen to have solar power on your truck. No, I installed the system four years ago when I decided to go on a road trip and I was camping along the whole way so I wanted extra power. And when you've had nothing but older vehicles, you learn to carry tools around everywhere. So I've got a 12 volt DC solar system, got a charge controller, I've got an inverter, I've got two deep cycle marine batteries. Now you're thinking, if you've got two deep cycle marine batteries, why don't you just swap out the batteries? Now the batteries I've got are too tall. If I put them in the front, the hood will make contact with the terminals and start a fire. Not to mention you can't close the hood. You'd have to like tie it down and, and uh, no, no, can't do that. If it was the only option, I'd figure it out, but I've got this way to try first. So I'm gonna sacrifice an extension cord I had for work and run power from here to the front battery. Just all kinds of ladybugs out here. Now you can't just directly wire the solar panel to the battery because the solar panels will put out up to like 20-ish volts. I don't need to risk frying any other electronics, so we have to run it off the charge controller which regulates the output from the solar panel to the batteries. Hopefully I can run a wire from here up there, let it charge a few hours, and it'll start and we'll leave it hooked up so I can get to an auto parts store and get a new alternator. That's the plan. Put 
new ends on it later. We're going to use the black as negative like it usually is and the white as positive. So I've got this inverter and I don't want to have to take the shelf all out and get to all the wiring. So I'm just going to use the wires off of the inverter which have got power from the charge controller and batteries. Run them from there so I can speed things up a bit. We're not looking to make a permanent connection so it can be fast and dirty. Always carry electrical tape. There we go. Let's run it up to the battery. Oh, that's the wrong size. Ah, I know what some of you are thinking. That wire's not thick enough for the starter motor. It's going to pull too many amps and fry. Remember, we're not looking to use this to start the engine. We're looking to use this to charge the battery and keep it running. Once we get enough charge on the battery, it should be able to crank the starter. Man, ladybugs everywhere. So now we wait. Oh yeah, let me let me check and make sure we're getting everything's going right up here. Ladybugs. Okay, eleven point five seven. Yep, we're getting juice up here. We'll wait a few hours and see. Man, the ladybugs are swarming me. Coming this fall on the Overdramatized Drama Network. Okay, I'm here. What have we got? 29 year old Ford Ranger failure to start. 2.3 liter engine. This isn't good. Oil level is below full, but within norms. Starter motor is clicking, but won't engage. Let's get a quarter 5W30 on the rapid infuser. Is it manual or automatic? It's a manual. Clutch is disengaged, but I can't get a crank. Our pressure is at 38 psi. That wouldn't cause this. You starting. Cooling mix is good, but voltage below 12.5 and dropping. I can't get any RPMs. We're losing them. Okay, everybody stop. I'm going to run a diagnostic. No, don't. That'll just drain the battery more. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Come on. Let's get the jumpers over here. Somebody change electrical. Charge support saying clear. Well, that's it, doctor. Call it. You've done everything you can. I'm not giving up. You don't have the chops to be a mechanic. Call it Dr. Carr, or I will. Listen, this is my ER. If you're not going to help, then get out. ODN. All your excessive drama. Okay, let's check it and see. Oh, 13.42. It's up that high because it's connected to the charge controller. The charge controller will go up to like 14 and a half and then float it down to 12 point something and then kick back on and charge it back up. So it's doing it. And it looks like the battery is, uh, I'm too excited. Uh, charging up so it wasn't too dead it just wasn't didn't have enough juice to start to crank the to engage the starter and stuff so I'm, I'm okay 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 yeah this looks a little ridiculous I think we're ready to try once I get it started I'm going uh, ladybugs Yeah. <laughs> 
That worked better than I hoped. Okay, we're out of here. We gotta go, we gotta go. Seems to be running just fine. <laughs>